Hey guys, so in our previous tutorial, we have created APIs in our Node.js project that communicate with our MongoDB database and stores and get the data from the database. So as you can see, this is the API to store the data into a database and this is to get the data of a particular user uh, from the database. Okay, so we have implemented this in our uh, last video tutorial to get the data from the database list. Okay, so this will just get all the data of a particular user and return us the data of a user. Okay, as you can see. Okay, so it is getting of a particular user. It is just uh, fetching the data being stored in our database and it is returning the list of data uh, that we can show it in our Flutter app. Okay, and this is my Flutter app that has been connected through USB and you can just see the screen. Okay, so let me get sign in. Okay, so you can see this is the app I have created and it is the dummy data being shown over here. Okay, so uh, please note that I am not going to cover each and every uh, UI part over here. So UI has already been completed uh, by myself. Okay, so you can just get the source code from my GitHub repository or from my website protocolespoint.com. I will just provide the link in the description. Okay, so UI part will not be covered in this uh, tutorial. Okay. So now here in this list, I want to show all the data that has been stored by this particular user. Okay, instead of this dummy data. Okay, so let's implement the same in this video tutorial. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so now we are in our Android Studio IDE and here is a Flutter project being open. So in this Flutter project, I have covered all the things such as login, registration and creating a to-do list uh, data and storing it into our database. Okay, so now in this tutorial, we are going to fetch all the data that has been stored in our backend Node.js project uh, from MongoDB database. Okay, and show it in our uh, app in a list format over here. Okay, so you can see from here, the user will be able to add his to-do data. Okay, and the data, added data I need to show in the list view. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so before getting started, let me show you the UI thing that has been done by me. Okay, so here as you can see, uh, I have created a random list of items by making use of generator, list generator. Okay, so I'm just generating 10 data and being shown over here. Okay, and then so over here, so this is the UI part. So I have a container. So inside container, I am just showing a circle avatar uh, size box. So let me show you side by side. Okay. So here, as you can see, there is a circle avatar icon. There is a text and there is a one more text over here. And inside after that, there is a expandable widget with a container uh, with height as 30. So if I don't provide this height, it will work. Okay. And here decoration I have made use of to give a border radius to this container. Okay. And then uh, there is a padding between the items. Okay. And then by making use of item builder, I am just uh, showing all the data that has been generated in this list of uh, items. Okay. So here I am just making use of a package called a sideable through which a user will be able to slide to delete the item from the list. Okay, something like this. Okay, uh, so for that I have um, added a library that is flutter slidable. Okay, so you can just need to add this thing. Okay, and then here I am just showing the item that is being generated. Uh, that is the index ID. So item of index ID. So this is the thing. Okay, and there is an icon and there is a leading icon being shown in this list of card list tab okay uh, so now we need to hit our database to get all the real data of a particular user and show it in the list view. okay so let's get started from here okay so now to get the data from our mongodb database we need to hit our backend api so so we need to hit this api so for that in our flutter project we need to create a function that will hit our api okay so here somewhere over here i can just create a function okay so here i will just create a function by name get to do list and here i will just pass one parameter that is the user id 
okay and this function will get called immediately as soon as this uh, dashboard page will get uh, opened by the user so here from here i can just call this and pass our user id okay and you might be wondering from where this user id is coming if you have not watched our previous tutorial okay so here uh, whenever the user gets signed in into our app and you can see so it is user has been successfully signed in and the backend uh, login api will give us a token of a user inside which all the details of the user will be get stored okay and the same thing is i'm storing it in our uh, shared preference and the token is been passed to our uh, dashboard page okay and here the token is been decoded by making use of the jwt decoder and from that i'm just getting the user id and storing it in this variable okay the same thing i'm just passing it to this function now okay so now let's make you hit uh, to our backend uh, api okay so we need to hit this api so let's create a configuration file of that url okay so this is our uh, api url to hit okay so we need to hit this api uh, from this function okay so i already uh, made some code uh, through which i am just hitting our database by making use of http post okay so i will just copy paste this code and i can use it in my other function okay so i can just copy paste and paste it over here okay and this function should be of type async okay the post method and here i need to call our get to do list okay and let's check our backend uh, api so let's check what it is accepting from the front end as you can see it is just accepting one parameter that is a user id okay so here in body let's pass only the user user id okay so here in the body i'm just passing it by making use of j json encoding and we will get all the data in this uh, json response okay so we get status as true and in success we get all the data of the user okay so let me open my mongodb compose okay so from this to do collection i am just getting the uh, data of a particular user so i will just get all the list of data of a particular user okay in this to do okay so now we get all the data of the user that is to do in this uh, parameter so this parameter i just data i need to store it in our list of item uh, in this uh, string okay so i will just remove this generated data okay so it is not of type string okay so let's remove this final key also okay so in this variable i want to store all the data that has been uh, got in this response okay so for that item is equal to json response of success okay and then let's call set state to update the ui okay so now let's use this so i have already used them in the list view builder you can see item count if item is null then the uh, list will be empty else the list will be shown to the user okay so number of items in this list okay and then here uh, you can see I am getting the user as title and description so let's use this key okay so here in the title okay so before that let's hot refresh and check if it is working okay so you can see there are five uh, four items been shown and the four item got generated 
but from this data i want only the title to be shown over here so we can just make use of this key over here so index of uh, item of index of title okay something like this hot refresh so you can see i did uh, you can just i'm just showing the item title okay so the same thing for sub description subtitles text okay and the data is description d e s c okay so hot refresh let's check so you can see i got the item over here okay and then uh, so it is completely working now okay and now whenever the user adds one more items means if you want to add one more item then i need to just get, hit this uh, function to get the latest data okay so after adding the data i need to do that okay so here add and once the data got added into our database over here so success true i will just call this function again by passing the user id okay so hot refresh okay so let's add some data okay so i'm just pressing on the add button okay so you can see the item got added into the list so let me add one more okay add so you can see the item got added into our list of items okay so that's all for this video tutorial so in our next video tutorial i will just cover this delete uh, option by which a user will be able to delete the item from the list and also the mongodb database okay so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you